power supply application. Function Vt equals to 8 sin t plus 4 represents voltage V in volts at time t for a power supply. Explain how using derivatives you can find amplitude of this voltage. Now let's try to understand uh, what amplitude is and then we'll figure out how to find it. So let's say this is our sine wave, right? We're just drawing a general sine wave. Let's say that's a sine wave. Then amplitude is actually thus the line of axis. Amplitude is maximum distance from that line of symmetry. That is what amplitude is. You can also say amplitude is you can find maximum voltage. Let's say this is your V max, right? and that's your V minimum. In that case, amplitude is V max minus V minimum divided by 2. So that is another way of finding the amplitude. Now using derivatives, how can you find maximum and minimum? That is the next part. Now, if you find derivative of this function and equate it to 0, that means you will find these points where you have horizontal tangent. So at these points we get V dash T equals to zero. Now if you analyze on either side of those points, if V dash T is changing from increasing to decreasing, we have a maximum, correct? So basically what we're trying to say here is like this. First step is to find V dash T, right? and equate it to zero. So you get zeros for the first derivative. So in this case, like we get zeros at this point and then this point. Let's say these are the points where you get zeros. Then analyze these zeros. On either side, check if your derivative or V dash T is positive or negative. If it is positive, that means the function is increasing. If it is negative, function is decreasing, right? What I'm trying to say here is, if it is positive and then if it is negative, then the function increases and decreases. And if this kind of a pattern is there, so it just keeps on increasing and decreasing, right? Which gives us maximum and minimum. So that point is the maximum and this is minimum. So once we get a point, we can plug in and find the voltage at this point. Similarly, we can find minimum voltage and then apply the formula to get the amplitude. So that is the strategy which we are going to follow, correct? So let's start with it. So we have Vt given to us as 8 sine t plus 4. So V dash t will be equals to derivative of this. Sine derivative is cosine. So we can write this as 8 cosine t. Derivative of 4 is 0. And next part is equated to 0, correct? So we de, V dash T equals to zero. That means we want to find zeros for cosine T, which should be equals to eight of cosine T. Now, when is cos zero? So if you look at cosine function, right? So let's look at cosine function also. So let's say we draw another sine wave here, right? And when we are talking about cosine function, then we say it starts from a maximum. That's how it is, right? So it is zero at these points in one way we're talking about. So it is zero at pi by two and three pi by two. So these are the two zeros in one wave, right? So we say, well, for V dash T equals to zero, we know T should be equals to either pi by two or three pi by two. So these are two critical points, we call them, right? So these are critical points. Let me write here critical for the time being numbers since we just have the t value with us. So we got this value. So at this value of t, we do have maximum or minimum. Whether it is maximum or minimum, we don't know. So what we will do is we that we'll write these points here. So we have got first point at pi by two and the second point at three pi by two. These are periodic waves, so they are going to repeat. But let's only consider the first half or first time period. Now in that case, let's analyze what happens to this derivative 
if we have a value which is less than pi by 2? Well, in a coordinate system, now let me give you another concept, all these things combined together will make you understand the whole topic very clearly, right? So to analyze what happens on the left and right side of pi by 2, what we will do here is consider coordinate system. So in a coordinate system, this is 0, right? That is pi by 2. This is pi, 3 pi by 2, and then 2 pi. So if we are considering a point which is less than pi by 2, we are in coordinate 1. Since we are in coordinate 1, cosine t will be positive. So I can write positive here, right? Now if you are considering a point between pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2, that means in this, you are either in coordinate 2 or in coordinate 3. In either case, cos is negative, right? The cos rule, I hope you remember. So, cosine is negative in both. So, it's negative when you are between pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2. That means V dash T, the derivative of voltage is negative. That means the graph of the function is decreasing. So, it is increasing in the first part before pi by 2 and decreasing thereafter till pi by 2. So, there is a maximum at pi by 2. So, we got this as maximum point, right? Now, what happens after pi by 2? After pi by 2, you're checking a point which is within pi by 2 and 2 pi. And you know, cos is positive, right? Since it is positive, the function is increasing. Since we change from decreasing to increasing, we hit a minimum. So there is a minimum at 3 pi by 2. So that is how you analyze and figure out your maximum minimum points. Now the second part is to get maximum and minimum voltage. So let's find out maximum and minimum voltage now okay so we say maximum voltage is at pi by 2 let's plug it in and find the value so what is the value at pi by 2 for the voltage so it is 8 times sine pi by 2 plus 4 now for sine function it has maximum at pi by 2 right so let me sketch a sine function also so these are quick reminders for you because we always don't remember all these things right but these small little graphs help us to to figure it out so that is your cosine function and at pi by 2 it is maximum which is 1 right so sine pi by 2 is 1 so what we are left with is 8 plus 4 which is 12 so that is the highest or the maximum voltage and the minimum we are expecting at 3 pi by 2, so let's write voltage at 3 pi by 2, which should be 8 sine 3 pi by 2 plus 4. Now that is pi by 2 for us, 3 by pi by 2 is here, so that is minus 1. So let's write minus 1 there, so we get minus 8 plus 4, which gives us minus 4. So we get maximum and minimum. So that is our maximum voltage of 12 and this is minimum voltage of minus 4. So the amplitude therefore for us should be how much? Amplitude is maximum minus minimum divided by 2, right? So we have maximum of 12. So we have amplitude equals to 12 minus of minus 4 divided by 2, right? That gives us 12 plus 4 divide by 2 and it is 16 over 2 the number 8 so the maximum voltage is indeed 8 as expected correct so the idea is to get what is expected <laughs> from the equation it was kind of clear but you know so that is how we could analyze the situation and we say well the maximum okay not the maximum the amplitude so our answer is amplitude a equals to 8 in this case and I hope you understand the whole philosophy behind it's kind of very important to understand this and we'll have extremely good example following this do that if you do that that means you've mastered this area of finding maximum minimum thank you and all the best